Beyond the Wire has just released a new gameplay trailer that gives our first glimpse at what this game looks like and gives players a release date. Before we go on, if you are searching for news and information about this game and want to see more of what this has to offer, then subscribe with all bell notifications and drop us a like. Beyond the Wire, a World War 1 tactical shooter that is being published by the developers behind Squad, is looking incredible. The game will be releasing for early access on Steam on the 21st of October and I have to say whilst watching the new early access trailer I was getting goosebumps, especially seeing those French soldiers charge over the top of the trenches, it looks so exciting and absolutely gorgeous. It looks truly visceral, the explosions, the amount of debris and the dirt the artillery kicks up, seeing the soldiers fall to the ground screaming, the blood splats as you shoot someone. There's also melee weapons, so like at the start of Battlefield 1's reveal trailer, you can smack people over the head with those wooden maces. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to have to watch out for artillery, gas and machine gun fire, barbed wire. It's trying to create a real feeling of being in this bloody conflict. And the trailer captures this well. Personally, I have played some of the alpha for Beyond the Wire and I'll say that this trailer captures the chaos and action that you can expect. Having 100 players on those smaller, more linear, more compact maps makes for some very entertaining battles and I just cannot wait to sink more hours into this game as we head into the early access on the 21st of October. But this game, if you love tactical shooters and you love historical accuracy, this game is going to be for you. One thing to note is that at launch I believe there will be three factions, Americans, French and Germany, all featuring weaponry and gadgets appropriate to that time period. The British will be coming, but later down the line. Like Squad, the developers will continue to add new maps, weapons and maybe they might look to add vehicles like tanks. But I can say from my time with this game during the alpha, Beyond the Wire is in a solid position and will only continue to grow and evolve. The maps I've played feel great and flow nicely and the maps are expertly and precisely recreated. I can't wait for more players to get on this game because it could be extremely popular. This trailer though I think has hopefully done a good job at showcasing what experience that Beyond the Wire will bring and the three words that come to mind are chaos, immersion and visceral. Hopefully you guys can really show these developers some love. If you stumbled across this channel and want to see more of this game, subscribe and drop a like. I'll be bringing you some videos that showcase what this game will offer players and whether it's worth your time and money. So stay tuned for more content from not only this game, but upcoming tactical hardcore shooters. Until next time, have a good one.